so the next tutorial is going to be the almost the same thing we are going to make the same geometry but instead of doing it by using one block we are going to use two block okay so it's the same geometry and i'm going to paste the link for the second tutorial in the chat box you guys can start this tutorial is very similar to the previous one the only difference is you are using two block instead of one so you guys can start it excuse me sir hello you to speak uh, sir for me this uh, block mesh dict file uh, is saying that no such file is uh, available do you want to create a new file where are you in which directory are you uh, just me sir in around channel 395 sir okay uh, you are in the channel 395 directory yes Yeah. Can you share me the screen? Oh, yes, sir. I can share. Sir, are you able to see the screen? Yeah, I'm able to see the screen. Uh, you have copied channel three nine five. So you are in run directory. You have to go inside your channel three nine five. Yes, sir. Uh, you can see that, right? Uh, open form rubric run. So you have to go inside channel three nine five. Okay. No. Yeah, you can just press tab. Yeah, if you press tab, it will complete it for you. Upper and right. Now press enter. So now you are in channel three nine five. Now if you do block mistake or not that, and uh, since you are using, I think you are using what? Okay, okay. Double S L. Okay, nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still it's showing the same thing, sir. It's not the. It's asking you to create a new folder. Uh, you must go inside the system folder to access block mistake. Type cd okay, system. Okay. Type cd system. Go inside system folder. Yeah, now you can use notepad. Okay. First of all, you should uh, list uh, using ls command, then uh, see if uh, the file you are trying to open is it there or not. So if it's not there, you uh, you'll, you'll not be able to open it. So fifteen minutes have passed. So people who have completed the tutorial can they raise their hand? Okay, I see that uh, people have completed the tutorials. Uh, while there are still some people who are facing issues, uh, Binay, you can try to solve the issue. Uh, even though you were not able to complete this tutorial, you can do it in your own time. And the issues that you face, you can write to us in our contact CFD at the rate 4C.in. Uh, we'll be happy to solve your issues. Now I'm going to present and uh, show you the same thing that you did just now. In case you have not done it, you can view my screen. So I'm again in the same uh, channel 395 uh, since uh, it was already copied. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to copy that you have done it multiple times. So I'm going to type notepad.exe and then system and block mess dict. Be careful that uh, if you, whenever you're trying to open block mess dict, it is inside the system directory. So you have to give the path system slash block mess dict not just notepad.exe and block mistake. And when I press enter, the block mistake file is has been opened. So I'm again, I'm going to remove all this thing. And I'm going to copy this thing. The new. I'm going to save this thing. Uh, somebody was asking me, what is this cyclic? Uh, cyclic connects your one face to other faces. It is useful when you are trying to simulate a very long geometry and you want to save computational time. Uh, you'll you'll uh, use this when you are using your intermediate tutorial that is uh, under uh, that, that has not been published in our spoken tutorial, but it is soon, it will soon be published. Now, the difference between the previous block mistake file and this block mistake file is this two hex block. Previously, you were using only one block. So you had only one of this. 
now you have two of this so now you are using two block to make mesh geometry and on top of that you are using this thing called expansion ratio so what expansion ratio does is it changes the size of the mesh as you move away from the boundary sometimes you may want to have fine boundary uh, fine meshes at your boundary if you want to resolve boundary layer or according to your simulation uh, according to your problem case you may want to have fine meshes at your boundary to do that we are using expansion ratio i'm going to save this thing and i'm going to close this thing now i'm going to type block mesh to mesh my geometry and it is done so again i'm going to use dot result dot form this, this will create a file result.form and now i'm going to open my file explorer and i'm going to click on my result to see the mesh i'm going to click on apply and again click on surface and surface with edges now i have two block and as you can see the meshes are finer at the very edge that is at the boundary this is because of the expansion ratio that was given okay now you understand what is the expansion ratio right so depending on the the expansion ratio that it has you have given you will have finer meshes at your boundary if you do exactly opposite uh, you will have finer meshes here and larger meshes here that is also possible so this is the tutorial now we have come to the end of this hands on session